Hello, I'm Wesley here with the Oklahoma Mesonet again. I thought we would do a little bit of a summary of the uh, weather situation for this past year, 2021, and then take a, a brief look at what we kind of expect to happen, at least in the early part of next year, 2022. Well, 2021 started off uh, a little bit cooler than normal for the first few months of the year, uh, especially highlighted with February. In February, we uh, set 80 new records with the Oklahoma Mesonet on the coolest temperature ever recorded. That would be since we started in 1994. Uh, in fact, the entire month of February came in at about 10 degrees below normal on average, and that's an e extremely large number. After that, we, we had about six weeks of no more freezing temperatures from that mid-February time frame. Uh, so six weeks of above freezing temperatures that let the crops, the, the trees start to leaf out and everything. And then we get into to mid to late April and we had a very significant freeze that impacted several crops, including pecans and a few other things. Uh, after that, the temperatures remain fairly close to normal for the rest of, of the year or through the summer. And then we come into the fall. Uh, since fall, we've been extremely warm, more days than not, and we're going to end the year well above normal uh, for the last two or three months. As far as rainfall for this past year, uh, pretty close to normal statewide for the first half of the year. Then about uh, late June, early July, it seems like the rainfall stopped, uh, especially in western Oklahoma. And so things have got really dry in the west. The east is still picking up uh, enough rain that they're doing pretty well. But the east, especially uh, the west, especially the panhandle, has became extremely dry. Going into next year, what do we uh, have to look forward to? Well, we're in a very strong La Nina pattern. It's an inso weather pattern that helps us predict what the, the weather is going to be in the winter and early spring months, which normally means warm and dry, exactly what we've had the last few months. So I expect that's what we're going to get starting off uh, the first part of 2022. They are predicting that that weather pattern will shift to a neutral pattern at the end of March, the first part of April. So hopefully we'll return to normal temperatures, normal rainfall fall patterns when that happens at that time. But until then, I would, I would be prepared for warmer than normal temperatures and much drier than, than normal rainfall patterns until that happens. Uh, that doesn't mean we're not going to have those uh, sporadic cold fronts move through the state and we may have some really cold days, but overall I think we're looking at warmer and drier than normal.